when we want to remove an object, we just use the delete view. And it's very similar to the detail view. So article delete view and delete view. And then we're going to use a different template called delete. And then again, we still want that get object method here. And my actual delete form is identical to the one that we created in product with the exception that I called it product here and post here. So we save that, we save our views here, do some imports and bring in our view name as view, uncomment this out, same stuff. So let's go back into a post. Let's say for instance, post two and delete it. Do you wanna delete this? We say yes. Again, we don't have a success URL here. And in this case, it wouldn't use the get absolute URL method because, well, that object no longer exists. As soon as I say yes, it deletes it from the database. So this is not even seen because that object is gone. So what we need to do is set one. And instead of setting the actual string, so like success URL to something like blog, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to bring in my reverse call. So from django.urls, import reverse, Actually, let's put that right under here. And then I'll just go ahead and say define get success URL takes in self and it's going to return reverse blog list view or, you know, whatever we have here, which is actually article list. Good thing I looked. So we change it to article list and this is also articles. Okay. Right there. Cool. So now this is our new delete view. Um, I can leave that query set, but again, it doesn't matter, just like the detail view because of my get object call there. And I save that, and now I go to delete. Do I wanna delete it? We say yes, it deletes it, it brings me back to all of my posts. Very simple, and something to note is that error, the delete error, um, if I don't have that get absolute URL method, or, or rather get success URL method, and I try to delete something and say yes, that error actually prevents that deletion, unlike the creation. Just something interesting to know. Um, but that's class-based views. That's, that's the gist of it. So the goal here was not really to give you all the details, but rather give you a bunch of questions. So now what we wanna do is break down how these actually work functionally with the next several videos. Stay with us.